Hello family, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Angela and here on this channel I create beauty. <laughs> Hello family, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Angela and here on this channel I create beauty, fashion, and lifestyle content. Now, like most people, I'm sure every once in a while, if not once a week, you walk into your closet and you're just stuck. You don't know what to wear. You have everything you need to create your outfits. You have pants and tops and blazers and jackets and dresses, but you just do not know what to wear. Well, that is what today's video is all about. I have identified some easy ways for you to choose outfits for the week, for the day, for the month, whatever you're going to do. And it is through outfit formulas and color schemes. Now, if you'd like to hear me talk about the both of those and show you some examples, then stay tuned now, let's get started. Before we get started, this is my outfit of the day. The jacket is old. It was from River Island. I love this denim jacket. It's a elevated basic. You see the, the detail on the sleeve here and it has a, like a fit, kind of fit and flare, kind of cut and I love it. And I have on my favorite, all time favorite t-shirt from Gap. These shorts are a recent purchase from Banana Republic. You know I love me a military green. And these shoes are so comfortable. I saw these on another YouTuber. They're espadrilles, but it has the clear straps across the front, so it makes my legs look really long, even though I'm only five, three and a half. This wedge is probably three and a half inches high, but it's very, very comfortable. There's a little platform, so it's probably about three inches high, to be honest with you, but they're comfortable enough to wear all day and just to be walking around. Not a whole lot of walking because they still are a heel, but these are the kind of shoes that you can put on when you're going out, you wanna go out to lunch. They're gonna be comfortable walking from the car to the restaurant, back, vice versa, and if you have to walk around to a couple of stores, uh, they'd still be very comfortable. These are really comfortable and I, and I love them. I really do. So that's my outfit of the day and my scent of the day. I mixed two. I mixed Amazing Grace and the K. Ollie Eden Juicy Apple. So I'll show you these two. So I smell like a fresh, 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 <laughs> a fresh fruit. This is the K. Ollie and this is what Amazing Grace looks like. Um, this smells very, very fresh and very clean. And this smells like a juicy apple, not a red apple, but just a, a combination of probably a green and a red apple mix. But that is my scent of the day. Before we start talking about outfit formulas and color schemes, the first thing we need to do is make certain that we have a very functional wardrobe one that serves our lifestyle, one that serves where we're going, where we want to go, not necessarily where we've been, but one that is truly functional. And in order to do that, we need to have pieces that we really like and pieces that we really love. If you have pieces in your wardrobe that you pick up and you're like, this is okay, you know, it's, it's okay. Now, those are not the pieces we want. Maybe we need to get rid of those pieces and give it to someone else. Maybe it'll serve them well in their wardrobe because it's not serving you well in yours. It's just clogging up space and taking up space for pieces that absolutely work well in your wardrobe and that you love. So we need to get rid of those so that we have a truly working functional wardrobe. Now let's talk about outfit formulas and color schemes. So today my outfit formula was a pair of shorts, a t-shirt and a jacket. So I went through my wardrobe and I was gonna pull out a jacket, a t-shirt and a pair of shorts. But my color scheme was military green, white and denim. I didn't wanna put on denim shorts because my denim shorts are dark. I wanted a true like denim, denim kind of color and I love my denim jacket. So I pulled this first. So there's, there's my denim. A white was going to be easy. Definitely I could pull a white shirt. I could do white shorts, but a white shirt will be easier. And then I, then I don't have to worry about that. So I pulled my white Gap t-shirt and I have these shorts that I recently purchased from Banana Public. So I have my outfit formula and my color scheme. So now you see the difference between the two. So an outfit formula are pieces of a wardrobe, regardless of the color. And a color scheme is a set of colors that you're gonna work within to pull out outfits. So my color scheme for today and all the pieces that I pull from my closet is black, tan, and a very, very 
soft cream or very light cream or off white type of color. Those pieces work so well together. You can mix and match the tops and the bottoms of the jackets. They just flow really well and they're very cohesive. It's a very neutral color scheme, but it's beautiful and it's timeless. It will always work. If you can pair these colors together, and if the, if the pieces are pieces that you love and they're a nice quality pieces, the outfits are always going to look amazing. So now that you know what the color scheme is, I'll show you. Okay, that's my alarm. Let me turn this off and tell y'all what that's about. That's my alarm. My son has entered me into a macaroni and cheese contest with the young man at his job. Uh, he told him that my macaroni and cheese was going to be better than his. And the young man who is 30 years old insisted <laughs> that his macaroni and cheese is going to be better than mine. He didn't lost his mind. He, he didn't lost his mind. So uh, it's 2.12 and my son has to leave home at 3 o'clock for work. He's going to take the macaroni and cheese with him. I've already boiled the noodles. So let me go in here and make this macaroni and cheese that's going to um, embarrass this young man once he get a spoonful of mine. And then I'll be back. Okay. So the outfit formula for the first outfit is a pair of shorts, a tank top, and a jacket. And again, all of these outfits will be in the same color scheme. So I pulled my black and white striped tank top, which is really, really cute. It's a basic, but it's a really nice trendy basic because it has the stripes. For the tan, I got these shorts. I think these are from, yeah, Banana Republic, the same shorts that I have on, but in the tan. And for my black, I pulled this black denim jacket, which is a recent purchase. And I thought this would look fantastic together. This is a casual, intentional, and very comfortable outfit that I put together. This can be worn on a regular, regular day. Just, I'm going to go out to the farmer's market or I'm going out shopping. I need to go to the grocery store. I just want to be comfortable, but I want to be cute. And I want my outfit to look intentional, not like something I just threw on. So I put this together. Now, I would wear these with some nude slides or some nude shoes. Or if I was feeling a little funny, I would, um, not funny. If I was feeling a little funky, I would wear some white sneakers or I could wear some black sneakers. Any color shoe from any of these, the tan shoe, a black shoe, or a white shoe is going to look fantastic with this. But knowing me, I would probably wear a neutral shoe with a neutral purse so that I would have the fun with the stripes on the shirt and the neutral shoes and neutral purse would fit very cohesively with the entire look. So outfit formula number two is a one and done. And the only way we're gonna do that is with one, a jumpsuit or a dress. And here is the outfit. I told y'all I was gonna get this dress. I told y'all I was gonna get this dress. And I, when I saw it, it made me ooh. And when I put it on, it made me ooh, I love it. Now I have it in a small petite because I wanted it to be a true petite because I didn't want to have to cut the bottom and um, cut some of this embroidery off. It's amazing. Look, let me see if I can put it close. Look how beautiful that is. Like you can really see the detail in the stitching. It is fantastic. This is a linen dress. It's just beautiful. It was not cheap. It wasn't, yeah, yeah, it was like $190. But when I put it on, it made me ooh again. It was worth every penny. And this, for this look, I wanted to look simple, but sophisticated. And that you can do that so easily with a dress. So for this outfit, I would definitely probably have a black purse and some black sandals. If I were going out to lunch with maybe with my husband or a friend, I might put on some black strappy sandals for, because it's spring and summertime, but some black flats would look just fine and a black purse. That way it's not gonna take away from the embroidery on the dress. For all of these looks, I would definitely wear gold accessories, gold earrings, a gold necklace, um, gold bracelets, because it's really gonna make the look more cohesive and it's just gonna fit in very well. But this dress is stunning on. I don't know if it'll, you can get that feeling from the video, but in person, it's stunning. It just feels so sophisticated and so elevated. And even though it's a small, it's nice and roomy, it's not clingy at all. So they do have it in regular and they have it in petite. I don't know if they have it in long. We have to look and see, but it does have pockets. I mean, we couldn't ask for more. I said I wasn't gonna buy any more black dresses, but because this had the embroidery on it, I felt like that, that was uh, not cheating and not going back on my word. So, this is my one and done. So the next outfit formula 
formula. So the next outfit formula is a pair of spring pants and a spring top or a bodysuit. And for that, I chose these tan linen pants. You all heard me talk about these recently from Gap and a black bodysuit. Pretty sure this came from, oh, it came from Abercrombie. I thought it came from Express because I have so many of those. So the, I love the top of this bodysuit, the cut of it. It just looks so modern, so sophisticated. It's really an elevated spring look. It looks comfortable, but it looks very, very intentional. I would definitely wear this. Well, I wouldn't say definitely because I could wear this with some tan shoes, some nude shoes or some black shoes and it would look great either way. I probably would wear it with some black and wear a black belt so it really would um, accentuate the waist of the pants. If I could find some nude, uh, a nude belt to wear with this, I have some tan belts but not quite this light so it's going to stand out and kind of I feel like it would take away from the pants if the belt is too dark so I would probably just wear a black. By too dark, I mean too dark of an orange or brown. So I would probably wear a black belt with this and some black shoes and a black purse and definitely some gold accessories. And I really feel like this is an elevated spring look. Linen looks so fantastic in spring and summer, regardless of what the piece is. And I just love it. Some people don't like linen because of the wrinkles, but I don't have a problem with it. As long as I iron it at first, I don't care if the wrinkles come in it. If you have that problem, you can do a linen blend. It won't wrinkle quite as much, but I'm okay either way. So the next outfit formula is a pair of shorts and a top, but make it dressy. So it's not gonna be like what I have on here. These are very casual shorts. This is a t-shirt, so that's very casual, but I wanted it to be dressy. So I wanted a pair of elevated, sophisticated short and more elevated um, shirt as well. And if you know me, if I find something that I love, I will buy it in multiple colors. And this is definitely the case. So for this outfit formula, I chose the first one is these. Oh my God, look how pretty these shorts are. These off-white cream shorts and they're tailored shorts and they have a cuff at the bottom. Love them. Fell in love with them. And they only had them in two, I had them in three colors. I didn't get the pink because it was a bright, bright pink. So I got this. And to pair with these shorts, I chose this really nice elevated satin shirt from Express. I fell in love with it when I had this on um, on a recent video. So these two look fantastic together. I would wear this with some strappy black shoes. If I were going out for a really nice lunch date with my husband or going out with a lunch date for with, with my girlfriends, I would certainly wear this. This is definitely an elevated spring summer look. And if I weren't gonna wear this color combination, I would wear the exact opposite. So here are the same shorts in black. Look at that beautiful, nice wide cuff and they're pleated in the front. I would most certainly wear this with a black belt. And here is the same top, but in this off-white cream color. Either outfit is going to look fantastic. They're both very elevated, very sophisticated, very spring, summer worthy, but they're just fantastic so you can do an outfit formula but you can you have to think about the occasion or as just a casual occasion am i going to be neat do i need to be dressed up do i need to be dressed down depends on where you're going for the day will determine which piece you will pull from your wardrobe whether it's going to be an elevated piece a dressy piece or more of a casual piece so the last outfit formula was a pair of jeans and a tank top but my color scheme again was cream tan and black so for this i chose these off-white cream jeans that i purchased from zara they're wide leg i don't know if they're still available i got them like a month ago they're high rise i love these pants and just a basic gap tank top i have it in the small even though this is a pair of jeans because they're wide leg and because they're high waisted given that 1970s look and feel i think this is a little more elevated Yes, the tank top is basic, but once I put on my jewelry, my necklace, my earrings, and pair it with a nice purse, um, some arm candy, I think the outfit will be a lot more elevated than say a pair of Levi jeans and a tank top or just a pair of regular dark jeans and a tank top. The color of these pants and the cut is just gonna really elevate the outfit and make it look fantastic.
Thank you so much, family. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget links to any items that I wore today that are still available will be in the description box below. They will also be on my website, angelamichelle.com. Go there at the very top on the right hand side. It'll say YouTube videos. You touch on that. Then a drop down box will come and it'll shop my YouTube videos. Click on that. Then you'll see the thumbnail for today's video. And right below the thumbnail, you'll see the pictures of the items that are still available. Click on the picture and it'll take you directly to the store you can purchase. Now, no matter where you are in the world, know that you are appreciated, know that you are important, and know that you are loved. And I want you to have the most blessed, blessed day. Bye-bye.